stretch you can do while you're waiting around. Just put your foot against the gutter, lean forward, and it stretches out the back of your calf. Then you swap leg. You can hold it for a few, for 10 seconds. I'm just swapping over to show you. So there's still little things you can do all the time to maintain your fitness, maintain your health. And you don't need to go to a gym. You can just be doing it on the gutter. <laughs> gutter workouts, man. <laughs> Eat in the gutter, sit in the gutter, ride your bike in the gutter, stay away from the nut butter. So someone asked me, Harley, can you do a quick talk about emotional eating? Number one reason why people emotionally eat, because they under eat on sweet fruit. And then what happens when we under eat on sweet fruit? We get hungry, man. We get starving, and then we will eat. We will eat foods we wouldn't normally eat. As a vegan, we might even go back to meat or dairy. As a cooked fooder, we'll just go back to Domino's or whatever, McDonald's, etc. As a raw fooder, we might even just go to like, eat a whole bag of macadamias or cashews or some hard to digest, you know, raw vegan organic dessert. So if we just eat enough sweet fruit calories, we will take care of emotional eating. <laughs> people say, oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand, Harley. You don't understand my relationship with food. And it's like, yeah, I do understand your relationship with food. I haven't even met you, but I do know that every cell in your body runs on glucose. The fruit is the most nutritional source of glucose. So if you under-eat on fruit, you will have emotional eating problems all the time for the rest of your life. So if we objectively measure our calories, what we intake from sweet fruit versus what we output, let me simplify that. If you need 2,000 calories a day, that's roughly 20 bananas. If you need 5,000 calories a day, that's roughly 50 bananas. So if you get enough food, you'll be flying, man. And you won't have that emotional issues of eating. So you start counting your calories and objectify. You go, oh, I don't want to count my calories. Okay, you don't have to count your calories, but don't think you're going to be in control of your eating, man. <laughs> you can be objective or you can be subjective. Objectives are going, okay, I've had this amount of calories, I know that's enough, great. Subjectives like, oh, I don't know what's going on, you know, I'm getting attacked by the freaking, the corporations that are conspiring against me. Read this book, man, 801010, that's the book you want to read, man. So, you know, I can sit here, there's, there's people across the road, man. There's people jumping off the bus. There's a bus stop here, you know, you can, uh, you can wait for the bus in life to come, or you can jump on your bicycle and make it happen. So what do you want to do? You're going to be like the rest of the drones in society. Just, you know, they wait for the timetables. And it's great that people are being more eco, man, but it looks like you can wait in life, man, or you can make life happen. So what are you going to do? You're going to be objective, or you're going to be subjective? You're going to be in control of your eating, or you're going to let your eating control you? Just a choice in the moment, man. Choose life. See you later. Makes sense to you? We must objectify our caloric intake and output. Otherwise, if we under eat on the good stuff, we will go to the crap stuff, man, to try and fill some, you know, physiological hunger requirement, and then we'll eat that crap. We'll feel crap. Why? Because that stuff, you know, you are what you eat. You eat crap, you're gonna feel crap. So then that's just going to affect your emotions as well. And you're going to be in this downward spiral, which you see so many people in society just getting stuck into. So get stuck into fresh, juicy, sweet fruit and all your issues will be away. Yeah, I don't have any problems. Look at that. <laughs> Doing a video on emotional eating. So objectify your caloric output and input and then you will see exactly how much fruit you really need to eat. It's quite a large amount. It's a lot larger than you've ever thought possible. And fruit doesn't make people fat. <laughs> so that would be my number one bottom line rule is objectify how much sweet fruit you're eating a day and how much you need. You're gonna, that's the only way to succeed on a 100% raw vegan diet. It's the only way to succeed in optimum health. It's the only way to succeed with keeping lean, fit, mean and green, crisp and sweet and juicy the rest of your life. Objectify your calorie intake with sweet fruits. Do it.